Hey guys, Noel's Drabble here with Oh It's Lucas, bringing you the next episode of our Table Talk. Table Talk. I kind of like that. I, I actually kind of like that. Anyway, so what we're going to discuss is the different sites we use, and where me, Sean, and Eric, what we use to bring the best board gaming experience to us. Now, you might ask, well, what if these sites don't apply? These sites all deliver... Um, either free downloads or they deliver uh, internationally for free if you pay over a hundred bucks. I find it's fine about a hundred dollars worth of items and then make your purchase. It allows you to choose what you really want. So like if I go to my wish list here, it allows me to look at what I haven't bought yet. So I haven't bought some X-Wing maps. I haven't bought um, a Risk game that's out of stock, out of stock. Uh, some Empire, Im Imperial Assault. Some other Catan. Some more Imperial Assault. And you, you just look. There's a lot of things that I still need to get. A lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. Actually. Ooh. Oh yeah. Starfarer's Catan. I'm looking forward to that. But that is freaking expensive. Uh, modular boards are also pretty cool. So in, in, in result, right? I get these two. I get 30 bucks for free for the shipping. So in essence... It's like I'm getting the Scythe modular board for free, because if I get the $84, I'm going to be paying like 15 bucks in shipping, or 20 bucks in shipping. So, by getting the modular board, it's like getting it for free. It's really nice. Um, so anyway, what does Miniature Market provide? So Miniature Market, so let's go into what we talked about, X-Wing. What does it provide? So we have pre-orders. You know what? Oh, they have the V-Wing coming out. What's this guy? Oh, oh, okay, that's really cool. Okay. So, uh, they have the V-Wing coming out, and they have uh, the Jedi, um, the more advanced. Oh, they got the Tri-Droid coming out. Okay. Oh, guys, I got to get the Tri-Droid. I got to get two of those. Um, my brother's going to have to get some V-Wings and some uh, Hyperlink. But the reason why it's so great is because instead of selling to a third party, they sell directly to you from the manufacturer. So you get that cheap discount of, I think, near um, 25% is what I want to say. About 25%, a little bit less, maybe about 20 Um yeah, it's about 20, uh, 16 versus uh, $20. So it's about 20% discount. And this is for the purchaser. I don't have to be part of a company to do this. I don't have to be part of anything. You just get it cheaper. So if you want to support your local business, do buy from them. But if not, and you don't have one in your local, do this. Do this for your savings. And they have tons upon tons. Actually, I'm still waiting. I actually purchased one of these guys. I'm still waiting on it for pre-order. Apparently, there's a lot of them. Man, there is a lot of pre-order stuff. Holy crap. Okay. So anyway, so X-Wing, they have tons and tons and tons. So four sheets of X-Wing. And, yeah. And it gets cool where you can get the individual upgrade cards. You can get individual damage decks. It gets pretty neat. Uh, same thing for Armada, right? If I type it in right... It might help. So Armada, right? 100 bucks for the Republic set. Oh, I got a leather? No. Let me know what. Oh, surprise. <laughs> we were in the middle of my video. Um, Armada, they have Republic ships. I'm looking at a Vindicator. The sadness intensifies. I'm looking at it, Eric. I'm looking at it. They got bomber squadrons. Oh, dude. They got it. Ah, Lucas. Can we spend how much on X Wing? We can, we can do both. I'm okay with doing both. I, I'd get CIS. Jesus. What, what would you say? How much is the Vindicator for... Uh, sorry, let me pop it up. It, 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 I don't think it's a Vindicator, actually. They haven't come with that. It's a, um... Acclimator. And two, uh, Counselor-class cruisers. So the two okay. cruisers in, um, the first episode, along with, 
um, an acclimator, which he knows, the kind of more defaultish guy. Yeah. So, but still, that's pretty cool. I believe the acclimator is their cruiser class. And then, um, then they got Republic Fighter Squadrons, which is like a little pack, and they come with uh, D-17s, Delta 9s, and uh, AC-130s, AC Jesus Christ, no, ARC-170s, and uh, V-Wings. Oh, oh, speaking of which, Eric, um, kind of popping into Wait, this. Wait, it comes with all of that? Yeah, so when you get the when you get the fighter bundle for Armada, you get all the fighters. You just get one bundle of it. Oh. Yeah, instead of having to buy each individual one. That's nice. Value wise, you need two of those packs, and you need at least two of the squadrons. So you're spending about two hundred bucks to get your fully kitted uh, game of Armada with the Republic fleet. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you're doing a semi 200 point game with armada then yeah yeah you spend 100 bucks and you're good but x-wing you spend 45 bucks you're good ideally with a group right if you pick out your people really well but for a minimum group of republican people it's going to cost you 200 bucks so armada is not great to get in afterwards but it's good to get in later on it's like the um it's like the 40k of tabletop games. I love Armada. It's fun. I really love the mechanics. But for if you're really getting into tabletop itself and ta getting into miniatures and you want to get into the spacecraft side of it, X-Wing is a lot better entry point than Armada. Now, later on, you'll find yourself drifting to Armada because you know you want to collect more people, get bigger fleets, and yada yada. So... What else can you look up here? Well, basically, Miniature Market has everything you can think of. Um, Catan, which, it's awesome here. Oh! Ooh! Well, let me know when you're done with this video. I'm gonna see you. Oh, Bye. oh, you're gonna, you're gonna pop off of here? Oh, I guess he already did. Alrighty, so, um... Hex Tower. Interesting. So anyway, uh, like Catan, uh, it has tons of stuff on here for just different editions, different red editions, right? And the list goes on and on. Like, if you want to do Warhammer, uh, I'm butchering it because I can't read it. Warhammer 40k, right? Um, we look here. And, let's see, Orc Mech Guns, usually 50 bucks. Here you get $43. Instant savings. It's, I can't get uh, to explain this enough. This saves you so much money. And when you spend over $100, you literally get basically $30 free. Because the shipping's paid for. It's like getting your Amazon Prime by paying 100 bucks. It's... There's no other thing about it. It's just awesome in that way. And there's so much ranges. And when I put Warhammer 40k, there's 15 plus pages of Warhammer 40k of just the different people. So, miniature market. Anything you can think of, board game wise or anything else, um, it is really, really good. From small miscellaneous games to big and spending games. Um, I need to add this one to my list. Alrighty. If you guys want recommendations of what games to get to really get your friends and everyone into things, let me know, and I can definitely help. So our next topic, TT Combat. Brand new to me, and I have to tell you, I love their products. So let's look through their wheel. Army Painter, it's a good painter set, um, good painter brand, cheaper than Citadel, um, but still has the same bit. Oh, last part's very important. Free shipping, over 100 euros qualify for free worldwide shipping. Uh, I think the exchange rate from euro to US dollar, I'm not exactly sure. Make sure you get 100 euros, not 100 US dollars, otherwise they might jip you a little bit. But they're a uh, England company. I, 
I I do not know the demographics between UK, England, and uh, Britain. Um, that that's lacking on my part. But I know they're from over there. And um, and they I did it. They tested it. It was about like a hundred bucks. So question is, what do they have? Right? They have drop zone commander, drop fleet commander. They have the what I really like is you go here, you go to sci-fi gothic. It's definitely not copyrighted. And now you're at Warhammer 40k. You see these houses, 14 bucks, ruined artificiums of 14 bucks, Gotham houses, corners, 16 bucks, ruined arcadum, 12 bucks, uh, fortified checkpoint, 7 bucks, 7 bucks for this. 7 bucks for all that right there. If you're a 40k player, you just know how much this actually costs if you buy it from Games Workshop. You're spending thirty dollars on this. Imagine you could spend the same price for seven bucks. Now, given you have to paint this and you have to assemble it, but Jesus Christ, that is definitely worth your money. And we go down, we look down farther. Gun silos, um, decimator cannons, where you can assemble full bunker sets, which is actually really cool. Orc strongholds. I actually have this one. We'll be unpacking that. I actually, I also bought this guy as well. I also bought this one. I bought this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, I spent about 200 bucks on here. But, dude, that was so many. I got this one. Uh, I got this one. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I got that one. I got that one. I got those ones. And you got train sets. I mean, the, it just goes on and on. The more you think about the more. I got that one. Seven bucks, orc lookout. Boom, done. Um, I got an orc barracks. Orc grub. <laughs> orc grub and gog. Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta get that for your base. Um, then you go into Necrons, and Necrons, oh my gosh, my, um, well, my ex-wife plays Necrons a lot, and, uh, she would definitely enjoy these places. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, they also sell individual terrain pieces that are actually painted. Um, those are decent, like cyber guns, technically Necron, uh, turns, but, you know, we don't call them that. Um, now we get into the Eldar. Eldar doesn't have a lot, oh, and orc guns which is kind of funny if you don't want to spend 50 bucks on orc guns um and really i mean it just it's awesome and that was just one of the that was just one of these guys right here i mean sci-fi x i don't even know what that is let's see what it is uh okay uh, okay it looks kind of just more futuristic not 40k necessarily just kind of future in general ooh fancy okay so um something else to point out there's tons more i can dive into but uh let's go into gaming tokens this is something that i bought that i want to point out these cloth of wreckage this is a really cool item that I always love to put on my miniatures once they die. Because they're part of the battle. How do you do it? Do you take apart them? Well, this is easy. You just put a cotton ball with a LED light that's been properly painted to look like smoke and uh, foliage coming out of it. Um, and they're only six bucks. If you get, if you don't like crafts, it's worth your six bucks. Messing with the LED, messing with the light, doing all that, you're, you're not going to get cheaper than that. And the thing is, they come in all so many different other colors um i personally got red and i got blue i believe because blue like hot flames is plasma and um the other so what else they have is dice towers dice trays uh area effects rings i got those four bucks easy cheap and awesome um i really looking forward to using those they should be a lot easier uh, when you're playing other kind of games like Bolt Action or uh, Fuels of War, Flames of War, something like that. It, it's another World War II action game. These tokens of icons of flame markers, they're going to be really important. Oh, oh, I did get these. No, I didn't. I seen them. But these are X-Wing, actually. 
these are X-Wing uh, template uh, maneuvers. And they look freaking awesome. These people, they basically go ahead and say, hey, you know what? These, they're technically, you know, target lock mockers. Those are for X-Wing. Plus one, minus one, Magic the Gathering. And yeah, the thing just goes on and on. Uh, poison drops, how many poison people you have. Um, Space Wing basic tokens. Space Wing, not X-Wing. Space Wing. You got your evades, you got, you got your focus, you got evade, you got your stress, you got your critical hit, you got your shield. All right there. I'm telling you, these guys, they're... They're a good company to get from. I I already have an idea what my third purchase is going to be from them. Uh, but remember, always free shipping outside the UK for orders over a hundred dollars. Inside the UK, it has to be cheap. I mean, shipping. I mean, the the whole country is generically small, you know. So now we talked about how to get your board games for a third of. Uh, uh, three fourths of the price. How to get your terrain for a fifth of the price of what you would pay the traditional Games Workshop? What else can we save? What else? What else can we do? Well, I'll tell you. What we can do is dive into the world of 3D printing. I'm not going to compare what 3D printers are best to get, what files, how the proofread files, how to see what files are bad, what files are good, what's the points for printing them out. That's going to be the next video after this and following next week. But what I'll get into is how do you find the files and what is there available? So this one is called Yegi. Just type in Yegi and it's the search engine. It's basically like the Google for 3D files. These files can range from uh, free files from different sites to paid files uh, that you have to actually pay money for. This being said, I will recommend two other places after this just to find only free files, because I guarantee you if there's a paid version, someone's probably already done it for free. And the reason why is because you can do it for free and ask for donations, and people actually make a lot more money than people that have to pay money for it. So, anyway, let's think of something. What do we want to type in? What's popular? War Hammer. Forticate terrain. What's up? What is here? So instantly we're diving into some stuff. And if you notice, when I clicked onto that, it took us to the website. The website's Thingiverse. And this is one of the websites, ignore the ad, uh, this is one of the websites I will always recommend. Uh, Thingiverse is my starting 3D printing uh, website. It was when I first pulled my things off of. Actually, in my terrain video, you'll see that I actually have these printed off and these printed off. But underneath, it will show you have individual files of each one. And you can actually print and save. All you got to do is download all files. It will pop up. Tip Designer. You exit out of that. Download all files. And it's downloading right there as a zip file. Look at that. So, so that's taken care of. So the question is, what's next? Well, once you find out what you like, let's go ahead and go back real quick. And see, oh, it popped up a different tab when I clicked in there. So let's see what else is there. I printed off this. If I click into here, where does this take me? This is my other recommendation place. This is actually called My Mini Factory. It's another place to get free... Um, it doesn't stay up, doesn't it? It's another place to get free 3D files. It is completely safe for... Don't allow for now. Um, it's a completely safe place to get um, your files downloaded. There's no viruses. I have I have used this now for the past four years for downloading uh, files. I have never had a virus from any of these from my mini factory and Thingiverse. Everyone else, 
is unknown ground to me. But in all honesty, my Thingiverse and my mini factory, they cover so much ground that when I'm looking through this, right, this is back to Yagi. This is the search engine for 3D printing. Thingiverse. 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 Cults. I'm not sure about cults. Thingiverse. My mini factory. My mini factory. Thingiverse. 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 Cults. Thingiverse. 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 Now, the question is then, if almost every single one of these is from Thingiverse, why even use Yugi? Well, the question comes is when you're wanting to really... When you're really wanting to find something really specific to what you're wanting, right? And the more specific you get, the more Thingiverse might not... <laughs> uh, the more specific you get, the more you might not find it. So, even though this actually is on Thingiverse, and this one's on Thingiverse... It's proving me wrong. Oh, that's cool! A Halo uh, Rhino from uh, uh, from Halo Wars, the traditional. Anyway, so it, it's a it's a way to find different sites, um, just in case you can't find exactly what you're looking for. But usually, you can find almost anything you need to find at Thingiverse. So, without further ado, we talked about the games. We talked about the board games. We talked about the terrain. We talked about the files. What's next? Well, the only thing that's left is mats. So I have a decent experience about um, what mats to use and what I personally enjoy. Um, I have two from Frontline Gaming. I have uh, two or three X-Wing maps. The X-Wing maps you can get from Miniature Market. If I just go here, go to the wish list, and they're right here. The only issue is they keep on selling. That's kind of rude. I don't, I'm not handicapped. Oh, wait. Um, they, they keep selling out over and over again. So they're kind of harder to get, but they're exactly Star Wars. If you want just something traditional that's not Star Wars focused, then Frontline Gaming is a really good place. Now, this is where you're going to end up actually spending your money. This is where it's going to cost you. And this is why. It's because after so many times of playing... Ooh, that's not a bad deal. 55 bucks, uh, 55.50 is not a bad uh, part to get for this 6x4. So, and that brings up to a good topic. If you're playing Warhammer 40k, apparently the map size has shrunk to a 4x4 rather than a 6x4. But what do you do with that extra room? That extra room is now your deployment zone um, off the map or where you put your cards at, whatever you do. Um, all you can do is just put a blocker from one side and blocker from the other and you can still use these just fine. And if you want to go back to a bigger map, you have a bigger map. Um, but they have tons and tons of maps on here. And I'm pretty sure... They make them... Oh, I didn't know they actually sell these. You know what? They sell it actually at a pretty good... Let's, let's compare real quick. Um, Space Marines, um, Primaris, and their Cessors, right? Let's go here. Sp Spice Marines. Why is it still the plus? Space Marines or Repulsor, right? So this is 68. This is 68. That's interesting. I've actually never looked on Frontline Gaming and 40K. So Frontline Gaming, it's another behind-the-scenes supplier to other companies. They apparently give the same discount as Miniature Market does. So if you want to get 40K and your maps bundled together, maybe get a better shipping price... Um, Oh, you can do that with others. Oh, huh. not as big as the selection, but it's good to know. Oh, they do laser cutting as well. 
Okay, okay. And this is why you need to look around. This village, this little village here of four buildings, and then two accessories, 121. That probably would have cost you 40 bucks, 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks at TT Combat. Please look around before you buy your stuff. You can save so much more money. You don't need to be spending 45 bucks on a house. You don't. You could be spending 15 and you're just fine. Actually, in fact, so let's go here. Let's go to the scenarios. Uh, what do you think? That's world fantasy realms. Fantasy's kind of more of... Oh, look at this. If you did Lord of the Rings, Elven. Like 10 bucks, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, Elven Docks. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Halfling Graveyard. Interesting. This is literally for Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this, is, this is a new discovery. Uh, give me some houses. Like this village. This village house is $6. This village house over here is 20 There's a reason. Why you have to look around and know your resources. You can spend thousands of dollars and end up with what someone could have only spent a couple hundred. You have to be careful about where you buy your stuff from. A whole castle, a whole castle here, 45 bucks. Let's try to find a castle here that's even close to it. Look. Now those are pretty cool actually. Those those are decent. It doesn't look like it. It looks like they're getting kind of new into the laser cutting so they don't get as much as a profit. But Oh, Age of Sigmar. Maybe that'll be in there. No, it won't be. Yeah. Alrighty. So, without further ado, I'm going to go back to the miniature market and go back to its homepage. Alrighty. Without further ado, guys, please, please take my references. Learn from my spending. At first, I only bought from local stores, and I was spending a wazoo. Then I found miniature market, and I was saving money. But now I'm spending a lot of money on terrain pieces. Because, uh, like, if I do war, hammer, terrain. Oh, why I press enter, it puts that. War, hammer, terrain, right? Now, this is something to note. This part here, that's all of that. Yeah, that's a whole set. So that's not horrible, right? That's not bad. But that's spending a lot for one setup. It's not it's not unheard of. You know, I think these are actually getting better cuz this is about 32 bucks and that's for that. But it's for one, right? And it's again unpainted preparation and assembly required. You're still paying for paint. If you want to deal with plastic, you can do it this way. But the cheaper way is to do the laser cut it, especially over time. So, learn from what I've learned. And if you're starting new, put all the questions you have in the comments below. I really want to help you guys out with knowing what is the best for buying wise, what actually worked for you guys. Because I'm a person who, if I have, if one meal costs. 12 cents more at one place versus the other, I'm going with the one that's cheaper. Like I did the thing where uh, there is a two for five at Subway, and then like chicken nuggets and medium french fries, like five at uh, 12. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go Subway. So I went to Subway. But <coughs> just <coughs> dying on my own saliva. Um, but yeah, take what I learned. If you have comments, please leave them. 
this has been a bit longer of a video than I thought it would. I was not expecting it to be 35 minutes. But I'll see you guys next time when we get into what kind of printers we should be looking at for 3D printing. I'll see you guys then.